All right, this is the first of one or two or three videos explaining how to do the additions to the two-player game that you guys started before. Okay, first one. It says give each player hit points equal to 100 and draw them to the screen. So let's start with player one. Create. Because this is where we like to do this. And right here, let's say hit points equals 100. I'll go and do the same thing with player two. Player two, create. Hit points equals 100. There's going to be a lot of doing the same thing for both players in this video uh, modification. Now let's get this stuff drawing out. Objects. Right click. Create object. Let's call this object draw stuff. That's a typical one I do. No sprite needed. And the draw event is always the one used to draw. And our typical code here. Now I want to draw out the players. And remember there's player one and player two. So let's start with player one with object player one. Draw text. I'll just say player one HP string. Now remember the variable was called HP. And since we're technically coding inside a player one right now with the width statement, you can just say HP because it belongs to player one. And whoa, I forgot something there. I forgot to say where I want it drawn. For now, I'm just going to say something like it. 50, comma 50. Okay, never forget that. Down here at the bottom, right? It wants an X, a Y, and where to draw and what to draw. Now let's do the same thing with player two. Object player two. Same line here. May as well do some copy pasting. Player two also has a variable called hit points, but remember that one belongs to player two. And don't draw right at 50-50. Spread this out a bit. So maybe 150-50, right? So it moves over to the right. And that's it. That's all I'm drawing for now. Let's test this out. Now I already know that I forgot to do something here. I'm not seeing anything drawn out. Because, like a lot of beginners, I did not add the draw stuff object to the room. So you can put it anywhere you want. It's invisible. And now it's going to be drawing. Hey, not bad. Now the next two modifications ask us to do a little bit of minusing life when the players are hit. So let's go to player one. They're hit by ball two in collision with ball two. There's already some code there. We destroy ball two. We make an explosion. And remember these commands here. This jumps the player back to their starting position and jumps player two back to their starting position. Now I'll leave that there for now, but what I want to sneak in here is I want to sneak a little bit of life going down. So player one's just been hit, so hit points equals hit points minus 25. We'll make the points go down. Now I basically want to do that exact same line in player two's code. So let's hop to player two, hit by ball one, and I'll sneak it in the same spot. You'll see why by putting it here in a minute or so. Minus 25. Now let's just trust that that works. The next part asked us to check if the hit points had fallen below zero. And if it had, jump the players back to the beginning and give them their life back. Right, Their hit points back up to 100. So I'm in player two. I may as well just stick here right now and do my little check. The whole idea is I don't want to do this jumping unless they've reached zero. 
So I'm going to ask my if statement here. If the hit points is less than or equal to 0, that's when I want to do this code. And you'll see that I indent it just to keep my formatting looking nice. And I'll let you look at this and tell me if I'm missing anything. If they're less than zero, they jump. Player one jumps. And there's a little bit more that you were asked to do. And that was set player two's hit points back to 100. And with player one, set their hit points back to 100 as well. And so it's sort of like a fresh new game that's starting off. Now I have to do the exact same thing with player one. So let's jump to player one. Should be fast enough to add in. Player one, ball two. Sneak the if. If hit points is less than or equal to zero. Now you may ask why I'm indenting. You're going to see as our code gets longer that indenting the code definitely helps you make sense of what's in the if, right? Like it's very obvious. There's my if statement right there. All the stuff that's over to the side of it. Now, just like with the other one, put the hit points to 100 and player two hit points should go to 100. Now I'll do one quick test of this. Make sure it's working. Let's see what I use to fire. So there's their point. Perfect. Back to 100. Players reset. Nice. And if I test the other one, which you should always do, back to 100. Looks good. So far, so good. Okay. We'll continue in the next video. Do a few of the other modifications you were asked to do. Thanks for watching.